Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about one of the detection and mitigation techniques for everyday attacks on DC microwaves. It is a three bus DC microwave system connecting the ringman topology. The control of this DC microwave depends on the communication between the nodes. The information collected from voltage sensor and current sensors is exchanged through communication lines, and there is high possibility of cyber attacks along these communication lines and near the sensors. So in this video, we are going to discuss a mechanism developed to detect and mitigate the sensor attacks, especially for data ingestion attack at converter level. Here is a control scheme developed with the help of deep neural network controllers. Two DNA controllers are designed, one for predicting the duty of the converter switch with the information received from sensors. Other is an attack detection and mitigation network that neutralizes the attack on the system. So input of the production networks is V in and V out, and whereas the output is a predicted duty. And for the attack detection network, the inputs are the difference between the reference voltage and the output voltage and inputs, input voltage. So the duties, these two duties, that is the predicted duty and the error duty is been summed up to obtain the final actual duty. The data collected from the output voltage sensor and input voltage sensor are fed to the DNN controller. And the, and the design code is deployed into the control, controller and monitored continuously. So we can observe that the output voltage is maintained approximately at 48 volts, which is the difference value. So an update attack is performed on the output voltage sensor by injecting a false data of 5 volts. So even though the attack is occurred on the sensors, the control mechanism is successful to mitigate the attack and maintain the output voltage at 48 volts. And this says that the system is robust for false data attacks. And the above discussed control scheme is implemented in the DC micro table with the real time hardware settings. And this is the control scheme developed for three bus system. And the input voltage and output voltage of the present node and the output voltage of the neighboring nodes are considered to achieve the DC bus voltage regulation. Acquired sensor data is fed to the DNN controller. And now we look at the hardware implementation of the proposed scheme. This is a synchronous boost converter with control board. Control board consists of voltage sensors, current sensors, and controllers. This is the DC source used, and these are the PWM pulses generated from the driver circuit and the desired output voltage of 20 volts. So now the converter is tested for source change conditions. So initially 25 volts is going to obtain the 20 volts output. The later the input voltage is changed to 35 volts. In both the cases, the output is maintained at 20 volts irrespective of source change. So another case considered is during load change situations. So initially load current is at 1 ampere and the output voltage is at 20 volts. Then a sudden load change is performed from 1 ampere to 0.5 amperes and back to 1 ampere. During all these stages, the output voltage is still maintained constant and at desired output voltage of 20 volts. And design converter is tested during the FDI attacks near output voltage sensors. The false data is injected to the sensor value before it reaches the control algorithm. So initially, during non-attack conditions, a constant output of 20 volts is observed, and later a 5 volts of additional data is injected into the sensor, and we can still observe that the output voltage is maintained constant at 20 volts. A 3 bus distributed control DC microwave is set up that consists of three nodes connected in ring main topology. Each converter and control board combination forms a node. Each node is controlled with individual local controllers, which consists of control logic. Each local controller acquires the data from the neighboring nodes to decide the set points. Loads are connected to the individual buses, and the voltage of individual buses are visualized in the oscilloscope, which is maintained around 48 volts. That is our desired DC bus voltage.